we have studied that when electric current is flowing in a coil that is in circle then it produces a magnetic field it has a magnetic dipole moment just like a bar magnet is having or just like a electrical dipole is having electrical dipole moment similarly magnet has a magnetic dipole moment and this coil has a magnetic dipole moment okay but the current flowing in a coil is made by a charged particle doing a circular motion and the fundamental charged particle is electron and that electron is making a circular motion in any atom there is a nucleus and around the nucleus there is an electron making the motion the simple most atom is one proton and one electron and electron is making motion around it and that fulfills our condition our characteristic for making a magnetic field and that material has a magnetic dipole moment so an electron which makes an atom creates a magnetic dipole moment so ampere said that this is fundamental of materials magnetism every material is made of atoms every atom has electron which are moving in the orbits so it has got magnetism so the basis of magnetism is from electrons from atoms and in the atoms due to electrons that means each atom should have a magnetic dipole moment and that is true we can find it the magnetic dipole moment each atom should have certain value can we find out the value of magnetic dipole moment answer is yes and for that we go to bohr's model of atom in bohr's model of atom we go to bohr's hypothesis in bohr's hypothesis he says that there should be a fixed number of electrons in any orbit and those electrons numbers uh, create a angular momentum electron moving in circle has mass velocity radius and because of that it has got angular momentum that angular momentum measurement was given by an hypothesis of bohr's and he said that angular momentum is given by an equation nh upon 2 pi this is angular momentum h is planck's constant it is max planck's constant and these are numbers n is number of orbit whether it is first orbit second orbit third orbit like this now this is hypothesis for angular momentum by bohr's hypothesis okay now we come to our equation what we have done is that mu upon l is equal to e upon 2 me this is the ratio which we have derived in the previous lecture that is the ratio of magnetic dipole moment and angular momentum mu upon l gyro magnetic ratio and this is equal to e upon 2 me okay now this help us to find out magnetic dipole moment how this value we already know if we come to know this value then we can find out magnetic dipole moment of an simple atom okay angular momentum how do we find angular momentum of an atom so bohr has given us already given us this formula we put values here we put it for a very simple atom that which has got n is equal to 1 that is one orbit atom for that we put here 1 and l is equal to h upon 2 pi that value we put here and then we find the value of mu and according to that value of mu comes to be mu is equal to l that is h upon 2 pi this comes here 
then e upon 2 m e e upon 2 m e okay so this is magnetic dipole moment of an atom with one electron moving around it the simplest the minimum value of magnetic dipole moment of an electron so this is known as bohr's magneton Bohr's magneton is value of atomic dipole moment held by a single electron atom when it is moving in its orbit. How much it is? We put all the values here h upon 2 pi you know all the values and this we can put it and we find certain values. I will write these values for you. Okay. So I have put all the values h is this e charge on electron is this 2 pi 2 and 2 4 za pi and mass of electron is this now when we multiply all this we get this value 9.27 into 10 to the power minus 2 and what is this this is Bohr's magneton what is Bohr's magneton value of atomic dipole moment and atomic dipole moment has unit ampere meter square that is I into A. So, I have put it ampere meter square. So, I have written a word minimum. Why minimum? Because the smallest atom has got one electron and we are doing calculation for one electron. So, this is the minimum magnetic dipole moment had by one atom. So, this is Bohr's magneton and this is fundamental magnetic dipole moment of an atom. That means atom has a magnetic dipole moment. It behaves like a magnet and electron is moving like this and this is it behaves like this bar magnet which is creating magnetic field north and south every atom. Okay. Then sometimes how their behaviors are different this we will study after this. The basic fundamental magnet is because of electron and the basis of that is further, further searched that if we have a single electron, does it have a property in magnetic? Answer yes, it has a magnetic property. Why? Because the electrons are spinning. You see, in the nature of our universe, there are two things there are two type of motions one is spinning motion and one is rotational motion uh, you know all these two how earth is having a motion answer motion number one earth is spinning about its axis it is spinning about its axis and that is why we have day and night that is spinning action other earth is rotating around the sun rotating around the sun and because of that we have got different seasons summer winter rains it is all because of this motion and this is one year spinning is one day the same motion is done by sun same motion is done by all the planets same motion is done by minimum uh, many galaxies and this is the fundamental motion which is given in our atomic structure. The smallest material is an atom and inside the atom there are electrons which are behaving like earth. There is a nucleus, around the nucleus electrons are moving and they are having two type of motions, electrons are spinning and electrons are rotating along the nucleus. When they rotate around the nucleus, they behave like a magnet and this is what we have been studying in this lecture and in previous lecture, an electron moving around a nucleus may having a dipole moment, magnetic dipole moment and behaves like a magnet. Then the question is, is there any magnetism due to spinning action? Answer yes, there is magnetism 
due to spinning action of the electron and that is fundamental magnetic that is fundamental magnetism so there is magnetism due to spin action of electron okay now there are two type of spins of electrons okay this spin action creates a magnetism and this is known as fundamental magnetism this is taken as source of magnetism in material okay so this is our fundamental magnetism since this is with every electron and it is its fundamental property we can say this magnetism is intrinsic magnetism now whether this electron is having an orbital motion whether this electron is moving like a free electron whether this electron is in any condition this magnetism it's always having this is intrinsic magnetism and this is microscopic root of all macroscopic magnetism what does it mean it means it's a very small magnetism contained with the electron and this all adds up to larger magnetism as shown by bar magnet as shown by other magnets this is the root cause what is the root cause intrinsic magnetism of electron after that there is orbital magnetism which we have done this after that there is atomic magnetism after that there will be combination of many atoms which will uh, make a group we will uh, come to that when we study ferromagnetism and other properties okay so this is all about electrons magnetism and bohr's magneton thank you